when the XP-1 uh, crossed the sound barrier, uh, there was no sonic boom. Um, why, why is that, Blake? So th this is well-known physics that's been kind of talked about and the papers have been written about it for a long time. Uh, nobody's ever turned it into a commercial product uh, in, until now. And it, it, its physics are called mock cutoff. And, and what, what basically happens is the, the, the boom comes off the airplane and as it goes through the atmosphere, it makes a U-turn and, and, it, and it goes back up to space before it ever touches the ground. So, you, so it, it, like, the it, like reflects, it like reflects off of a certain layer of, of air or something like that. Uh, it technically, it's refraction, not reflection. Um, the the best the best metaphor, you know, I think we've all seen that like middle school science experiment where you glass of water, and you drop a pencil in the glass of water, and the pencil looks broken. Yeah. And the reason it looks broken is because the light waves bend uh, as they go through the the glass and water, and they uh, and they and they refract. And they refract because the speed of light is different in water and glass than it is in air. And so sound has actually the same physics. Uh, it, it bends or refracts uh, whenever it goes into something with a different speed of sound. And something a lot of people don't realize is speed of sound is not the same everywhere. It's actually a function of temperature. And of course, temperature is not the same everywhere. It's colder above and it's warmer below. And so what, what that means is um, it, uh, at the, 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 the boom basically bends towards colder temperatures. It means it bends upward. And so, so it makes a U-shape.